Hello! Blimey, that iPhone 4 sure is expensive, eh? Well, if you've been thinking to yourself, hmm, I've looked on eBay and seen these Chinese phones that look exactly like an iPhone 4, but cost a fraction as much. Maybe I should get one. Yeah, that'll be just as good, won't it? Well, you're an idiot. And now let's go into great lengths about why, as I present to you the AirPhone 4. It's like a phone only... Air. No, I don't really understand that either. Right. Box. Looks like a box for an iPhone 4. Here is a box for an iPhone 4. See what I mean? All I've done is removed the Apple logos and taken the eye off. Although rather naughtily, they do seem to have used an almost identical picture for the front, showing apps and things which don't come on the full thing. Switch it round. Get rid of that one. AFO number 4, 32 gigabyte. High definition wide viewing angle. 3.5 inch WVGA screen village. OK, hadn't read that before, and that threw me. Screen Village. That's where number six lived. Resolution 960 by 640. High performance tempered glass touchscreen, GSM and numbers. Wi-Fi, wireless internet, Bluetooth, Java. 3D, three-dimensional games. <gasps> They're 3D and three-dimensional. Wow. It'll burn your retinas out. FLV, ebook, MP3 player and MP4 email. MSN, QQ. No idea what QQ is. Something like MSN, presumably. And 5.0 megapixel... <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've uh, already used the camera on this, and that's such a fat lie you wouldn't believe. Um, yeah, camera and flash. Pretty sure there was no flash as well. Wow, lies. Right, FC, picture of a phone with a cross through it, or possibly just an oblong with a cross through it. CE and a weird symbol they appear to have invented. Marvellous. Well, we're off to a good start. Let's see what lives inside. Answer. A cheap knockoff of the iPhone 4. You've probably guessed that bit. It sits in its little tray in a bag. We'll come back to that in a second. OK. Ooh, instruction manual. Let's have a look. Airphone user's manual. Oh, sorry, airphone number four. Sounds like a sonata or something. Ooh. Airphone, such as the thin air. Yeah, you see, that's not a very positive-sounding catchphrase. It's fairly accurate, though, from what I remember. Um, yeah, nasty little badly photocopied thing. Um, English isn't great, but much better than uh, I usually have to deal with for this sort of thing. Phone book. This phone has business card like phone book. The information of each contact stored in this phone include of three numbers, etc, etc. Marvellous. Uh, calibration mode. Yes, I had to do that several times to get the touchscreen to work. Select camera. Use a manual. Guidelines for safe and efficient use. Please read this information before using your mobile phone. These instructions are intended for your safety. Please follow these guidelines. Amazingly, the uh, safety stuff is in really perfect English. The rest of it isn't. But hey, at least we get to see little pictures of phones that aren't this one. Right, next. Um, some kind of data cable type device. Um, it looks like this would work with a real iPhone, but I don't try it in case it blew the iPhone up. Next, USB mains adapter. Standard sort of thing. I think I've already got one identical to that. There came some other tat once. Headphones with built-in microphone. Yeah, cheap, nasty, painful, useless, the usual. Ah, and interestingly, a spare battery. Mainly because the battery life is so poor, it runs out in about 0.4 of a femtosecond, so you have to swap it round if you want to use it all day. Although quite white you'd want to use it all day, I don't know, as we're about to point out. OK, out of the bag comes the AirPhone 4 itself. It looks amazingly like an iPhone 4, even down to the fingerprints. I mean, really amazingly. In the wild, you would probably not tell the difference until you picked it up. It's even got all the... Uh, copyright stuff of a proper iPhone on the back, which is very naughty and lie -y. Here's an actual iPhone. Look, you can barely tell the difference. Absolutely astonishing bit of copycat work. Well, holding them in your hand isn't quite the same. Um, you know the sort of metal antenna around the edge, you know? Put your thumb here and suddenly you lose your signal. That one. Well, on this it's completely plastic, so uh, on the plus side it gets around the uh, antenna problem. On the minus side, rubbish internal antenna. Um, another point of interest is, you know that thing where it said on the back? Hang on, where was it? Uh, yes. High performance tempered glass touchscreen. Nasty cheap plastic. Not a capacitive touchscreen either, it is a horrible uh, resistive thing where you have to jam your thumb on it to get it to do anything. 
That's a little bit more recessed than an iPhone. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference, that, does it? There's a little hole here, presumably a microphone. Um, but everything else, yeah, fairly accurate. In fact, very accurate, really. The only major thing, which amuses me no end, is the SIM slot on the side is, in fact, just printed on. Literally just a decal. It doesn't put its SIMs there. Here's where it does put its SIMs. <coughs> yes, the whole back comes off, unlike every Apple product ever, revealing this amazingly chunky back piece. I mean, it really, really is heavy. I think they've put sort of fairly heavy metal in it in order to raise the uh, weight of the phone so it feels more like an iPhone. In fact, it's very light without that on. OK, here's a battery. Here's some words. I'll cover up the IMEI in case it is stolen. Oh, who cares? I'm never going to use this. Right, uh, one thing you will notice, it takes two SIM cards that you can swap between. That's quite cool. In fact, the uh, fake iPhone I reviewed many, many, many months ago, probably years ago now, did the same thing. Something else that I find uh, somewhat confusing is that it says 32 gigabytes all over it, yeah? But in fact, the internal memory is tiny. So presumably they're referring to a 32 megabyte, uh, gigabyte even, trans flash card that comes with it. In fact, this is frequently referenced in the manual. However, I cannot for the life of me find anywhere where it slots in. The only thing I can think of is, does it go up there? Would a memory card fit into that bit? Hmm, I wonder. Bear with me. OK, this is a uh, micro SD card which should still fit in a trans flash slot, and yes, that's blatantly what that's for. Hmm, don't know if it came with a 32 gig card and I just uh, didn't get it or something, because I did buy it second hand. Um, I don't know, the most amazing thing is that I spent bloody ages trying to find the uh, memory card slot in this earlier. As soon as I turn the camcorder on, find it instantly. Amazing. Right, anyway, let's get the back on this. And stop putting off having to turn the damn thing on. OK, are we ready? Look me in the eye, and let's go. Hmm. Welcome, it says. <clears throat> yes. If you're thinking that was like a cheap Hanna-Barbera cartoon, you ain't seen nothing yet. Right, we have a screen with more apps than a big screen full of apps. And you can scroll it left and right, just like a real iPhone. Except it doesn't work about 60% of the time, unlike a real iPhone. And I've just launched something by accident. Yes, get out, thank you. No, launched something else by accident. Oh man, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Go back to the main screen. Please. Every time you so much as touch the touchscreen, the uh, unit vibrates slightly. Unfortunately, it normally doesn't actually do anything, so you're just holding this weird, shaking lump of crap. No! Open the... Yeah, across. <sighs> this is going to take a little time, I feel. Crikey, I cannot get it to move back to the first page. Right, bear with me. Oh, that's just made a weird noise. And the background's changed. Look! What? I didn't do anything. I was just trying to slide across. No! Oh, crikey. Seems to think it's nearly six o'clock in the morning as well. That's not right. Trust me, I'm not up that early for reviews. Come on, go back. Can we go the other way? No. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't boding well for the rest of the review. I can't get off a single page of apps. No, it's just not happening. Right, I've managed to do it. I discovered it's easier if you put your finger on the little row of dots that tell you which screen you're on and move there. Weird, it seemed to work. I was going to say perfectly well earlier, but I don't mean perfectly well at all. I mean uh, it worked vaguely competently earlier. Right, let's see what's at the top. It, it's given us a fantastic signal strength, despite the fact uh, we haven't got a SIM card in it, which is always confusing. Um, yeah, I should point out, actually, I'm not going to have a SIM card in it at all for this review. I have tested it with a SIM card in, and it began to act funny, and frankly, I got scared it was going to ruin my SIM card. Right, uh, there's Bluetooth connectivity. 
Uh, there's some sort of vibrating musical note. Presumably that means sound is on. Um, next to that is Wi-Fi signal strength. I've got it uh, connected to my home network here. Stop turning off and yeah, battery power. Interestingly the battery power was almost zero earlier and now it's up to three quarters again. I would put that down to not being very accurate. Okay, quick overview of its many hideous and broken features. Music! Yay! It looks like the music player off the iPhone but isn't. Go on, play some music. Oh, how do we do this? I don't know, it just quit. That was odd. Back. No, let's put the repeat on. This is the worst touch screen ever. And that's saying something if you used to use touch screen devices in the 90s. It really needs a stylus or something with it. Or possibly just a good kicking, one of the two. Come on. Ah, album, here we are. Options. Okay, this is weird. It was playing earlier. Ah, look, it's going onto the memory card, which is empty. Right. This is almost completely impossible to use. I'm probably going to have to open up and take the memory card out before we continue. Bear with me. OK. Now, I've removed the memory card and I've got myself a spare DS stylus in order to use the screen with... because the touchscreen seems to be dying on us already, despite the fact the unit's hardly ever been used, presumably. Well, I did buy it second-hand, or I can't imagine the previous owner actually used it for anything unless they were mad. Right, let's go back to music, shall we? Here we go. Yeah. This song's called Love, apparently. Let's play a little bit before we get sued. Sounds like the intro to an Amiga game. Skip. What else we got? Track 11. Hmm. Fungi. Next. Oh, track 3 is love again. Track 4 is track 11 again. Track 5 is love again. Track 6 is... Yeah, I'm noticing a pattern here. So the 8 tracks are actually just two repeated over and over. Marvellous. Yeah, um, that's something you'll notice as a bit of a feature of this phone, but we'll get on to that. Back, back. Does that do anything? Uh, it does eventually. Right, what's next? Phone. Oh, that was a mistake. As I said, I did make a, a couple of calls. I only had one SIM card in it at the time. You'll notice there are different buttons for launching uh, SIM card Uno and SIM card DOS. But yeah, um, it was about as you expect. Dreadful call quality and just kept dropping out. And somebody tried to call me and mine didn't ring. That's how good it is. All right, how do we get out of this? Let's press the button. Ah, better. MMS. It's a message service for very short messages. That bit seemed to work okay. I'm sure you know how that goes. Safari! Yes, look at the whole proper internet. And it has got real Wi-Fi connection, so, you know, full internet access. Here we go. Right, internet service. Um, homepage. What is the homepage, actually? It is Chinese Google. Interesting. Let's have Google.com in English, please. Yeah, is that loading? I have no idea if this is working or not. Yep, there we are. Good. Let's search for me, because I know I won't sue myself. This, by the way. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's demonstrate this. Deletey, 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 deletey. Now I'm going to try using it, you know, with my finger, as you would if you were using this as a proper phone. Ready? A, S, H, nope, H, E, N, nope, N, yep. Yeah. There we are, look at that. Only 40 times worse than using the stylus. Also, um, it's really, really hard to actually push a specific letter without hitting the one next to it. And also, <laughs> this just keeps getting better, doesn't it? You'll notice there's no enter or return button. You have to go down to options, done. Marvellous. And now click search. Mmm, intuitive. Here we are. And there is my site. Let's see how good it looks on this beast of a machine. Is it loading? I can't tell. Oh, yes, apparently it was. Sorry, the page you requested uses advanced space age technology and we're unable to adapt to your phone. I see. Oh, great, my real phone's ringing.
Great, that was somebody trying to sell me a phone considerably worse than the one I already have, for considerably more than I paid for it. OK, what are we looking at? Oh yeah, the full internet experience, which doesn't render full internet pages. Go on then, let's see what YouTube looks like on it. <coughs> I can't wait. Well, I can wait, because I've got to. I see, it's something like that. I did actually delve further into this before, and you will not be surprised to hear it won't play YouTube videos. Or, in fact, any website I tried to use it with. OK, let's see what other exciting apps we've got going on. Messages. Yeah, that's the same as that. Call history. You can get to that from the phone anyway. Oh, crikey, you know, I accidentally started something. Clender. Yep, every good phone needs a clender. Return to clender. Address unknown. We've got some signal on the shitty phone. Right, a uh, photo album. It's got photos in it, except I haven't taken any. We'll have some fun doing that together in a moment. He lied. Actually, let's have a quick look at the clender. Yep, it's like a calendar. And tragically, not a colander. That might have given some use to this. Camera, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> it's like an intro to James Bond from 1803. Yeah, you may notice it looks crap. And it's not 5 megapixel, I should also point out, when you take a photo. Go on. Take the photo. Capturing. Saving. Looking dreadfully. Let's go back. Photo album. Oh, should be using the stylus. There we are. David Bailey, eat your heart out. In fact, literally eat your heart out rather than use this device. Right, next up, Wi-Fi. Yeah, that... Uh, is how you connect to all the Wi-Fi bits. Seems to actually work quite well, which is astonishing this phone. Electribook. No, elect... Ele uh, uh, book. Electronic book? Is this the e-book reader? Presumably so. Yes, you can marvellously read whole books from a horrible little screen that doesn't work properly. Just what we all want to do. User profile. As suggested, that's just something from settings. Organiser. Picture of a clock for some reason. That shows us the calendar and various other things. You know, the calendar that we've already seen up there under Clender. Hmm, phone book, that exists under phone. Actually, doesn't the real uh, iPhone as well, they duplicate that feature for some reason. Games, oh, we'll come back to that. We need a bit of a rest before we delve into that, I think. File manage, hey. There we are, the phone internally appears to have 87.7 megabytes. Not quite the 32 gig they put on the box, but there you are. What else have we got? Settings. Hang on. Aren't everything we've already... What LCD backlight? Oh yeah, that is actually the LCD. There doesn't see... I'm confused now. So the settings has all the settings in, which kind of makes sense, but also, making less sense, Nearly all of these icons are just things from the settings app that they've, you know, brought out onto their own heading in order to make it look like the phone has more functions. Very naughty. Multimedia. Yes, you can use the inbuilt uh, chat program. I'll bet that's great. And basically lots of other functions that you can access individually from different app icons. Oh, yes. We see what they're doing here. Calculator. On, astonishingly, doesn't look that much like the iPhone one. Probably gives you right answers, and I wouldn't put money on it. And sound. What is sound? Oh, I see, yes. That's the uh, settings for when you're making a call. It had some sort of weird effects you could turn on to apparently uh, alter your voice. I shall show them to you, they're quite interesting. Go on. See, so you can actually uh, have these in the background as you speak. Oh, I liked it when we were listening to it, but it wouldn't let us do it for long. There we are. <laughs> so if you're speaking to somebody you don't want to talk to on the phone, you can set that off and say, Oh crikey, there is an unconvincing alarm in the background. Now I must go and not speak to you anymore. Bye. And then everybody will be fooled, except from all people who are involved. Right, uh, we're going to go back to games. Here we go. App Store icon. Game Center. What's all this about? My favourites. Downloaded list. Go on. You know you want to. Favourites are empty. Marvellous. 
as they would be really, I haven't actually looked at this function. Downloaded list. Look, okay, do something. Download list. <laughs> Java, is there a crappy Java game we can play? Twin Spin! Hey! That sounds like it might be a game or something. Launch! Launch! But NASA doesn't have that problem. In partnership with Globs. Yeah, I'll bet, probably literally. Get on with it. Oh no, it's not going to play in that tiny um, box in the middle, is it? Oh no, here we go. Okay, that was confusing. Right, there's two blocks. It looks like um, when you're running something on Windows and don't have the correct font installed. Uh, let's just press the green tick to agree. Yes, indeed, they haven't given you the font necessary to play this game. Well done. Let's just keep pressing the green thing and hope it starts. Whilst the little thing spins around. Hmm. Not sure actually what's going on here. Uh, ugh. Oh, I see. You press and it changes which one is anchored to the floor and which one is spinning, enabling you to fly around and then presumably before the time runs out, collect all the blobs with your little spinny emoticons. That tune is by far the best thing this phone has done so far. Right, terminate, yes, with extreme prejudice. Java application stopped. Uh, that's made me feel a bit better. Right, next page. There, I've learned how to do it now. There we are. Tone setup. That's ringtones, you know, just like in the settings app. SMS template, just like in the SMS. Sound? We already had that one on the other page, didn't we? Yes. Same icon again. Same features again. Yes. So basically, this huge list of apps you can scroll through are nearly all exactly the same thing, just repeated or extrapolated from an existing one. Brilliant. Right, video player. Go on then. See what videos they've given us preloaded that's usually interesting. Ah, oh, yeah, this one. Play. Ooh. <laughs> right, um, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Very, very hot, it's called. Hmm, this is, this is a bit of a departure for, um these tap devices usually they have like a music video or a movie trailer this looks like it's going to be pornography to be perfectly honest with you well i'm going to play it if it is anything dodgy i shall um stop it play is that full screen yeah oh this is some shitey comedy film look, somebody's going to come up and say, mm, that looks rude. Yeah, here it is. A comedy biker of some type. Wow, subtle. Why is this joke still going on? Yeah, I know that the joke was that it looks rude. Yes, we get it. Yes, what? Right, now they're really overdoing it, and that's very rude. I'm going to have to blank that out. Um, yes, well, that's just from some rubbish comedy film that uh, extends one joke too long. But, uh, yeah, you may notice it's not really got very good playback quality. He uh, underestimated massively. Also, something else you may have noticed is that the uh, wide viewing angle toted on the box is again a big pack of smelly lies. Right, language. Can I turn the phone to Chinese? That'll really help me understand it. What is that? A picture of the planet. Can I summon Captain Planet? That would be cool. No, it's a world clock. That's infinitely less cool. Uh, wallpaper. Oh, go on then. On image one. Oh, that is the standard iPhone background, isn't it? It was earlier before it inexplicably changed when I was trying to move apps around. I think we've pretty much reached the limit of what this can do already, haven't we? Uh, missed call inbox. These are all other features. Alarm scale unit. Oh, go on. What's that? Oh, currency converter. Fair enough. This was scale units a minute ago. SMS template again. Not good enough, people. Security settings, memorandum, caller group. Again, that's just extrapolated from the phone. This phone doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? And they haven't gone to enough trouble to hide that. Java video record, watch. Go on, then what's watch? Typical stopwatch and an N-way stopwatch. What is an N-way stopwatch? A sort of confusing stopwatch. Fair enough. 
Makes sense to me. He lied. Oh, we've got another cleanser. That's good. You can have too many of those. Um, video recording. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're wondering what video recorded on this beastie looks like... It looks and sounds quite a lot like this, so don't expect to see Avatar 2 being filmed on one of these. Wow, pure quality. Right, there's an FM radio. Oh, I don't usually bother testing these things, but frankly this has done so little else of interest. I'll get the old... Uh... Well, no, I'm assuming that you have to attach the headphones so it can use them as a um, aerial, but that may not be true. It's true. Right. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. Earphone plugged in. Well done, Sherlock. Shows lots of bubbles. <coughs> Go on. Let's find a local radio station. Oh, good. No auto tuning or anything useful like that then. It's 99.3 one? No. Oh, dear. Right, the local station here, uh, Radio Broadland, as it used to be called, it's now some uh, conglomerated corporate thing, uh, 102.4. <clears throat> Not particularly impressed by this. I mean, if, presuming this planet, <laughs> um, radio station is still broadcast from where it was, it's only up the road a bit. Can we, is that an auto search? Oh yeah, here we are, look. Hey! Dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, searching the airwaves, finding absolutely nothing, cause the radio doesn't work. And I think that deserves a third. Right. I can't stand much more of this. What else have we got? Organiser, phone book, video player. It's all the same things again. And another page of them. Oh, an MSN. Does that actually work? Wow. You're quick on the uptake, aren't you? Three weeks later. Start. Windows Live. All in one world. One world that doesn't want to use this. Because the cellular phone didn't put T-card or surplus space storage. OK, that's confusing. I'm not going to put my details into that. You'll probably put it in. I'll just automatically swear at everybody on my contacts list. Right. All paper alarm. It's all this rubbish. It's just the same old toot again and again and again and again until your eyes bleed. And that, I think, is that. I'll slide the power off. Go on, then. Oh. I just have to the touch screen this like worked this morning not a very long shelf life there goodbye and good riddance most amazing thing is it says goodbye with a doorbell you know a doorbell being a thing that generally implies hello so there you are. I've reviewed some crap devices in my time, and that's one of them. One of the very worst, in fact. It doesn't do anything well at all. In fact, it barely does anything <laughs> compared to the amount of apps it lies to you at. Oh dear. Um, so would I recommend you purchase one of these? Well, I'll let you work that out for yourself. Here's a hint, though. Of course not! Oh well, time to put the Airphone 4 safely away in storage.